We're going to do the Europa League second knockout round draw as the intro today. Very, very exciting. So let's go and have a look at the draw here. Uh, we've got 16 teams left to draw. Now the one that is in here, uh, where is it? Bordeaux. Oh, could we get Bordeaux? Let's have a look. Benfica. No, I'd, I'd take Benfica. Celtic, I'd definitely take Celtic. Okay, no. Olympiacos, yep, take Olympiacos. Take a lot of these teams so far. Sassuolo, I uh, don't know if we can get Sassuolo. No. Bordeaux, here we go. This is it. This is it. Are we going to draw Bordeaux? Oh, they've got Arsenal. Napoli, uh, I don't think we can get them. Sparta Prague, that would be interesting. Very, very interesting. Nope, we have got Real Sociedad. Or Sam Sebastian, as it is in this. So we're going to be playing the first leg of that today. Oh, as obviously, as well as Inter, you know, because that's quite an important game. Hi guys, what are you? Welcome back. Episode 72 of Sunday League to Premier League, a journeyman save. Uh, if you enjoyed that draw at the beginning and you're not subscribed to the channel, subscribe because we can, we can, you can see some more draws next time you subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to hit that like button, put a comment down below. How do you think we're going to go this season? Things are looking very, very good. We are atop of Serie A at the moment with a nice little cushion of six points ahead of Roma. Uh, those good couple of wins against them and Atlanta. The, uh, I believe that was last episode, wasn't it? Was that last episode? No. Back here. Yep, they were they were top wins. Since then, we have been absolutely unstoppable. Un unstoppable. You saw us uh, in between here with that transfer window. So since then, it has just been green dots. So Swallow, uh, Sampdoria. We did have to go to penalties to beat uh, Lazio in the um, Coppa Italia quarterfinal, but we rotated there. We then came along and absolutely spanked Parma 5-1. A good Parma team who, I mean, they're six at the moment, but they were up here pushing for the uh, the top spot up until a, uh, a little poor run of form. But, uh, yeah, really, really good. And then 2-0 uh, win over Lazio in the league. As you can see here, Esposito, he's got one, two, three, four, five, six goals in the four league games so he is absolutely on fire we've got napoli in the uh copper italia semi-final first leg and obviously you saw us draw real sociedad uh, who are fifth in uh, la liga at the moment so interesting draw for that one i'm quite quietly confident about that we should have enough to to beat them but today is the big one against uh inter they are fourth uh they are oh, with nine points behind us but we are just absolutely just running away with this at the moment. Yeah, we've got eight draws, which is quite high. You have a look at the next sort of highest. You've got nine to swallow, nine Fiorentina, eight for Lecce, and then us. But the fact is this column here is in the zeros. Is, is That's why we're top of the table, and we score a lot of goals. Goal difference, 44. If you have a look here as well, we've only conceded 12 goals. So it's like We've never conceded more than one goal in a game, so... Uh, that is looking really, really good. Uh, a tiny, tiny little bit of transfer news uh, before we get into this. Uh, where is he? Uh, Azem uh, Fahagi. Azem. Uh, he's gone out on loan to Rosenborg. I'll, I just thought we needed to... He's not very good. He's he's probably not going to make it. He's 23, 23. He's probably reached his peak. He's a, yeah, he's a decent Serie A player, but... Uh, I'm not sure we're going to get much. So, yeah, he's gone out on loan to see if something can happen. But with that, we might as well get into this indie game straight away. We've got Van der Voort in goal. Uh, Jao is it right back because um, David Calabria is uh, slightly injured. We've got Tomori and Hilzik for Brotta, uh, Adli, Pobega, uh, Christiante, Grebel, Sterling, and obviously Esposito up front. Let's go and submit the team. Very, very confident against Inter as well. Right, into the sheds. Carry on your performance from last game, and we will absolutely dominate this. Which, you know, we dominate most games. All right, here it is. Inter. 
Uh, Thomas Lamar still playing for them. Isaac out on the right, obviously. Valverde there as well. A couple of names that stick out. Lining up for the national anthem. Be an absolute packed house today, obviously, for the uh, Madonina Derby. Derby della Madonina. It's Isaac on the ball now. And he. Oh, that was a poor tackle. And this looks like a great chance for Inter straight off the bat. And Thomas Lamar has made us pay. Within a minute and a half as the rain starts to fall here in Milan. That is not the best start to the day. We're going to berate the boys for that. <clears throat> Just saying how well we've played into up in second. That's how choppers that is. Uh, they're with us slightly getting ahead of them here. But that is that is not the start to the game that we want. Adley on the ball now for Brotta. Finding Cristante charging into that box. And Goebbels now he'll look to hook it in. And Raheem Sterling is there. Totally unmarked at that sort of back post-ish spot. And it is 1-0 after 8.5 minutes. What a start to this game. The fans are definitely going to get their money worth today. Stante Aguervels and Aguervels just across the box. Raheem making a cheeky little run in. The defender not following him. Like I said, we've never conceded more than one goal. So hopefully that doesn't change today. And uh, we can go on and get a... Uh, Excuse me, a couple more. Shout some encouragement to the boys. Now we've got another highlight here. I thought we were going to uh, just go straight into half time, and that was going to be it after the uh, the uh, initial for, uh, nine minutes of the game that got two goals. Adley now on a good break. Yatsin Adley. He makes it 2 1, and that is his eighth goal of the season. And ho oh, ho, we look good. We look really, really good. The young Belgian here, Jehel. I <clears> don't <throat> have to work out how to pronounce that game, but it is Goebbels, the former Bordeaux, Bordeaux man, onto the other former Bordeaux man, yes, in Adley. And it is half time. We are 2 1 up. I point the finger. I didn't even register what that was. It was all a bit click happy. All right, that's it. Get out there for the second half, boys. <clears throat> Okay, that's that's nine points ahead of Roma. They've still got to play, but you know, all the points are good points. Tomorrow on the ball now, out here to the Belgian right back, Goebbels, Cristante. He has a pop, and that would have been an absolutely thunderous goal. But unfortunately, it is just a corner. But we can still make them pay from this. Adli, but he's headed away by the Inter defence. To keep an eye on some of the players' fitness here as well. Obviously, we want to really get a good. Um, a good showing in that first leg against Rososi, your dad. Oh, Cristante's header was slightly off target. Esposito not playing well, but this is where we've got the likes of um, Cobianchi and Jerome Pfeiffer can come on now and really give us something up front. But like I said, I am conscious about players getting fired and uh, Goebbels and Sterling. We can leave Sterling on and we can probably just... Um, play DRB in the uh, in the Europa League. So I'm going to take off Esposito as well, because it would be nice to have him fit. And we'll bring on Eloy Martin or Pobega, I think. Yep, that looks good. Do a team talk, point your finger, go out there and make the difference. Maybe should have brought on um, a deal instead, but mm, I, think, I think we've got enough about us. Uh, having a look at the stats here, the XG, what well, that is a uh, vertigo inducing <laughs> shot there. Adley with the corner and he gets it back and he has another pop. But phew. we're going to go for another corner here with Adley trying to whip this in to find a, the head of Tamore. But the inter defense get it out again. But back to AC Milan. I've, I've just kind of went all static there and lost the ability to say words. <clears throat> Unfortunately, I do apologise. It's very uh, da, 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 da. there's nothing wrong with the uh, the with the video. It's just me being all a bit tired. It's been a long weekend, but you know, he's into on the ball now, trying to get something from this game. That is a great cross, but Hilzik clears it. But unfortunately, it's not the best of clearances. Oh, and we almost give a penalty away there. Pfeiffer on the ball now. You can see him because of his mohawk. Crosses couldn't quite get the cross into. Uh, Kobianchi and Inter now on the counter-attack. It's, it's a little audacious chip there, but 
it comes to nothing. Into now, coming out from the back, trying to get something from this game. Now really trying, but Sterling has nicked that ball. And Fabrotta now, Adley, Fabrotta, back to Adley and Fabrotta again. Trying to find an opening here and put this game to bed. Hilzik back to Fabrotta. Back to Hilzik, Fabrotta just trying to find an opening. That's a... Oh, I was going to say, that is a bit of a dusty ball. And it's going to lead to nothing. But Kobianchi... Kobianchi has, uh, let's have a look, see what happened again here. We've got the little lead up play between the left back and the central defender. The ball, and that's just Paul uh, Scrinier trying to pass the ball to his uh, centre back partner and um, <clears throat> the young Gina Como Kobianchi. I think that's his first goal for us. It would be his first goal, and we have won out three. One winners absolutely destroyed them. That was an absolutely amazing game. All right, back here for the real Sasha Dad game, and hopefully I'm a little bit, um, you know, more fluid than I was in that Inter game. It was very, you know, stop start. I do apologise for that, but here we are today. Uh, Van der Voort in goal. Uh, Calabria comes back into right back. Zimmer in the central of defence there. Uh, the midfield stays the same as does the front three. We'll change the bench as we only get seven subs here. Which is a bit of a shame. Submit the team. Let's go on a real good showing here from these boys. So we don't have to worry too much about the second leg. That's the plan. It never goes to plan. Never goes to plan. Point the finger. Pick up where you left off last time. It might go to plan. You know, it, it might. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, Rusoshi Dad used to obviously have Alexander Isak. He is no longer there. Uh, there's a couple of players there who are recognised, but, you know, we're starting to get that smattering of uh, re regens, new gens into the uh, the team now. Wow, look at all that blue out there. We're away from home. I'll take that, although away goals are no longer a thing. Let's go and have a look at later scores. We can keep an eye on Arsenal, Bordeaux, Benfica, Tottenham, Drew 2 0, Celtic, Sevilla. Celtic over Sevilla. That's, a, that's an interesting one because I think those games have already been played. Esposito now. Trying to unleash Sterling in the box here. One's for Brotta and it is broken up. But we nick it again and Sterling. Oh, wait, great play. But uh, I think the referee is just double checking here whether or not it's going to be allowed. And it is awarded Raheem Sterling, who is uh, is actually getting back into some form. He's uh, That's poor. That's poor, that is, from Douglas Louise. Yeah, he's actually getting into a bit of form. He was kind of a bit lackluster at the beginning there. Everton beating Olympiacos and Sassuolo over Bayern Munich. Napoli beating PSV and Sparta Prague beating Gladbach at the moment. Yeah, so out of the three wingers, um, it's Diaby who seems to be the one who uh, is struggling and Goebbels there. 13th goal of the season. The man is an absolute machine. And the board, or the board or my, you know, the staff are actually saying that we should sell Diaby so that we can, uh, you know, balance the books and avoid uh, FFP, which we are failing. So that, that definitely could be an option. He, he's he been available for two games now and hasn't played. So, and I mean, we paid $47 million from That's going to be hard to recoup back. But it is Zimmer on the ball now. That is a problem for another day. And Sterling, again, here using his pace. Still got a bit of pace at 35. Oh, I just... I just looked away then for a second just to check something along the bottom of the screen here with the player's ratings and that and totally missed what happened there. I thought the goalkeeper had that all wrapped up. Let's have another watch this. Sterling crosses in, Goebbels heads, and Romero just, he can't hold on to the ball, and Goebbels is there to put it in the back of the net. Two assists last game against Inter, and now two goals against uh, Sociedad. What a purchase. 20 million. I mean... Oh, Cristante, there it is, 4-0. I mean, William Goebbels does not look that great. His stats are okay, but he is just a, such a consistent performer. And I don't know if that's now a relationship with, thing with me because we had such a good relationship at Bordeaux that he now just plays well for me. But far out, he is... Where is he? Uh, I mean, he can't quite see him there, but... 
I mean, yeah, his stats are good, but it's it's nothing really stand out. He's twenty nine at the moment, but you see, like you know, I keep I keep showing you this. He was all right when I bought him at Bordeaux those first two seasons, but then he's you know, he's he's played over seven, and he is absolutely thriving in this Milan team. So what can I say? But we are absolutely demolishing Real Sociedad here, and this is what you want from the first leg. This is exactly what you want. Bordeaux are beating Arsenal. Oh, it, that looked like uh, Edson Roussel there with the with the goal. So she dad now trying to get back into this game. They've they've really got to get something from this, otherwise, you know, they will come to the uh, come to Italy and I mean, they're not going to beat us at home. No way. Uh, I noticed as well. Um, I can't take too much credit for this, but uh, we are now since that win against Inter, we are now on a forty game unbeaten streak. I mean, I can only really take credit for half of that, but that is absolutely amazing. 40 games unbeaten. I mean, we're unbeaten this season. We haven't lost a game, which is crazy, crazy stuff. Esposito on the ball now, trying to find Sterling, but uh, just, I, I did say he's still got a lot of pace, but it's not, you know, it's not the pace he used to have, but we are all over these guys here, absolutely all over. So I'm taking our foot off the gas a bit, I'd say. I mean, when you're 4-0 up at half-time, it's you. You can do that. But we are still probing here, looking for a fifth. Oh, it's Sterling on his head over the bar. So, and we've got another highlight now, but it is Shoshiadad on the ball now. Shoshiadad. Um, as they try and get one back, but Van der Voort, God, he was a good buy, really good buy. I kind of popped up last minute, and I was like, mm. Yeah, since uh, obviously old Mike decided to go to Liverpool. Glad back, really getting back in that game. They were 1-0 down. What else is happening? Napoli over PSV. And look, two of my boys, Russell and Saka, 2-0 over Arsenal. Good stuff. So we could still face them in the next round. That would be absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. Would love a, um, what's the word, a... Reunion, reunion with uh, with Bordeaux though that would be good. We're gonna take right now, Christian play off. Uh, who else are we gonna take off? We're gonna take uh, Raheem Sterling off, and I'm gonna leave Esposito on. He hasn't played great, but that's all right. And we'll take off uh, po Pobega as well. That's it. So triple substitution. Give those guys a rest. We do have uh press play. Press play, what do you do? We can't make any more subs. Always checking, always checking about uh other subs. No, we do have um Verona coming up in a couple of days. They are down the bottom of the league, so that'll be a chance to give a lot of these guys a rest and uh and then get them ready for the, the second. Although after that it is slightly annoying because after that is the second leg uh against Sausage Dad, where you know I'd like to play a rotated team, but I'll probably play a weak team in the league against 18. So oh, management, hey, ha oh, oh, who'd be a manager on a computer game? Great stuff. Um, this is looking like it's trickling out here. Um, having a look at the XG here, I just noticed that um, Sausage Dad have had seven shots on target for 1.32. So they really came back in that second half, but it was just our first 36 minutes that absolutely just blew them out of the water. And yeah, Bial Zimmer there getting man of the match for his 8.2 it was a rock at the back. I mean, everybody played well there. He could not fault them at all. And Bordeaux take a 2-0 win over Arsenal. So that's good for them. All right, so just having a quick look at the uh, at the schedule. I think the second leg for our uh, uh, the quarterfinal, which you'd assume that we're getting through to that, will be the 17th. So we'll come back for that one and, uh, and Juventus. That'll be a good one there. And I'll, uh, I'll try and record the draw and maybe pop that at the beginning of the video. Now, let me know if you enjoyed seeing the draw as the uh, the intro. Uh, anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it there. If you have watched all this way through and you're not subscribed, it would mean a lot to me if you could do that. Uh, tap on that bell notification as well. Uh, smash that like button. And yeah, pop it down in the comments. Let me know. Did you like the draws for the intro? Because I thought it added something else to the video. I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.